Hi friends, happy Friday. I'm glad you can make it to watch this video. We're going to mix things up a little bit today. We'll do calendar, weather, we'll do our movement to music, and then we'll settle in for a story. All right, friends, let's get started. All right, what month of the year are we in? Do you remember? Here's your hint. Good job, it is the month of March. And let's talk about the season because we've just changed from one season to a new season. Do you remember what season we are now in? Spring, that's right, we are now in spring. All right, now today's day of the week is Friday. Yesterday was Thursday, tomorrow will be Saturday. Let's sing our Days of the Week song together. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then comes Saturday. Days of the Week. 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 Good work. Now let's count our numbers to see what today's date is. Count with me, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Do you know what number comes after nineteen? 20. Two zero is 20. Thank you for helping me count, friends. Now let's put it all together to come up with today's date. Today's day of the week is Friday. The month of the year is March. And the date is the 20th. Thank you so much for working with me, friends. What's the weather what's the weather what's the weather like today what's the weather what's the weather what's the weather like today all right friends i need your help to help me predict today's weather is today's weather sunny no today's weather is not sunny is today's weather snowy? <laughs> no, it's definitely not snowy. Is today's weather rainy? Yes, it is wet and rainy outside today. Thank you so much for helping me predict today's weather. All right, friends, now you may find a place to stand up so we can move your bodies a little bit. We're gonna do our movement to music first, and then we will finish our circle by calming down with a story. All right, find your space. Remember, don't be a space invader, and don't knock over anything in your house. All right, let's move those bodies. One, two, three. Come on, wiggle arms, let's get ready to clap our hands. Clap your hands, clap your hands, everybody clap your hands, 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 everybody clap your hands. Now we're gonna stomp our feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet, everybody stomp your feet. Clap those hands, clap your hands. 
exercise today. All right, it's read aloud time. So now I'd like for you to find a spot to sit. It can be anywhere that you're comfortable. And I have a fun little story for us to read today. All right, I'll pull up my chair and get our book. Now move a little closer. So you can see the pictures. And today I'm reading from my Kindle tablet instead of a print copy. <clears throat> All right, so today's story is I'm Not Just a Scribble. And the author of this story is Diane Alber. Just like at school, circle time ready. Eyes watching, ears listening, mouths quiet, hands are still and feet are still. Good work, friends. This is a story about a scribble whose lines would cross and wiggle. Tiny loops would start him, start him small. Bigger swirls would make him tall. He could be shades of green or baby blue, even crazy colors, he loved them too. Choosing bright colors made him feel free. You never knew which one he would be. Then one day, Scribble took a short walk where he found a house and stopped to talk. Hello, said Scribble. It's such a great day. I thought I'd come over and we could all play. The house never saw anything like Scribble before, but he was curious enough to find out a bit more. So even though he was grumpy and didn't want to play, he still managed to grunt, what are you anyway? Scribble was confused and didn't know what to say. So he said to the house, I'm just a Scribble, is that okay? It's not okay, said the house. You don't look right. Your lines aren't straight and your colors are too bright. But color is fun, Scribble said. I can show you why. Just give me a chance, please let me try. No, said the house. You cannot stay. You're nothing like me. Now go away. Oh, poor Scribble. Hearing those words made Scribble so sad. A tear ran down his face. He felt really bad. But I won't be upset, he proclaimed that day. So he changed his colors and went on his way. He continued his walk and soon found the sun. Along with the clouds, they could all have some fun. But the sun saw him coming and told him to stop. Your lines are too messy and we don't have a mop. Turn around, little scribble, he went on to say. Go back to your home. Just please go away. But you're not being nice, scribble shouted quite mad. The fact that I'm different doesn't make me so bad. My colors are special and my lines are just fine. If you give me a chance, we could have a great time. Should we ask him to play? They huddled to discuss. It's fun with more friends and it's usually just us. And although they were worried that this wouldn't work out, being mean to Scribble wasn't what they were about. Scribble was surprised at what he saw the next day. All the drawings were there and they wanted to play. 
even Rainbow showed up and he never came by. He was standing right there near the sun in the sky. We're so sorry, said the clouds as they held back their tears. Please come play, said the house. We haven't had fun in years. I forgive you, Scribble shouted as he did a happy dance. They were so grateful he gave them another chance. Scribble gathered up his colors and played with everyone. Blue, purple, green, and yellow. It was all so much fun. Look what they created when they finally came together. The picture was so beautiful and it was better than ever. The end. My friends, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. I look forward to seeing you all very soon. I hope you have a great weekend this weekend and I hope you do something fun with your families at home. How about you all create your own scribbles and your own pictures and you can tell your grown-ups to post them on Miss December's Facebook page. I would love to see what kind of scribbles you come up with and use as many colors as you can. All right, my friends, I love you. Stay safe. Wash those hands. And until next time, bye.